Hello YouTube, welcome to another video from Tech with Stefan. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Lenovo Idea Party 130 and how to upgrade the RAM module and of course add the SSD. And for this you'll only need the screwdriver, something like this one, or even better, something like this one. And of course we just start uh, by removing all the screws located on the bottom of the case, which are plenty. Just put aside the SSD for now and the memory and just start with the screwdriver to remove each one of the screws. Okay, with all the screws removed, just uh, put them aside and uh, you can do this even simpler by rotating the laptop and they will for sure fold down. And uh, just keep in mind, you need to save all these uh, screws. Okay, with all the screws removed, you will need the plastic card, something like this, and uh, gently try to pry open the case. And you need to find the insertion point on the case. Just need to make it open. You can insert also some fingernails, just to make it uh, wider, so it will enter the plastic tool like this. And just uh, gently move it like that, and you will hear the clips and uh, go throughout the whole case. And you can uh, gently close the lid and just simply insert the plastic tool around the case and you will hear the snaps of the clips, just gently not to break them. And you continue the process along the other side, just gently insert the tool here around the corner and make sure you get all the clips and they will make a snap, snap and uh, that's about it. Okay, after removing all the screws from the bottom, we need just to pry open the case and uh, it's easier after you unclip with the help of this uh, kind of card, the clips and uh, put the cap aside we can look at the bottom a bit just to see how it looks so it does have a uh, copper shielding and this is also some copper foil here and uh, this will ensure some cooling effect but it's not that much okay let's put the cap aside and uh, just look at the main board and uh, let's check out the components here this is the three cell battery and uh, we can look at the capacity, it's 44 watts hour. Here we have the mechanical HDD, which comes with the configuration I have here. And uh, keep in mind, this is one terabyte. And of course, you can place here another hard drive or SSD or whatever you like. This is the two point inch form factor. And of course, here are the speakers and they are not that big. And here we have the cooling pipes. And these go all the way up to the two coolers here. This is the bigger and smaller one and uh, it will ensure a big airflow throughout the heat uh, elements here. And this will try to make cool the GPU and the CPU here. And of course um, here we have the Wi-Fi card underneath the cable of the SATA drive. And of course there is another slot free here that you can install uh, another SSD. And from my experience I have tried with uh, SATA SSDs, something like this one, and it did not work. And you need an NVMe SSD, something like this one, this Kingston. And uh, before you do any modification and install everything, I do strongly recommend disconnecting the battery. Is this guy here. Just gently pull on the cable, and once it is uh, free, you can see it like that. Leave it like that, so it will ensure it don't break or make a short circuit on the board. This is very important and it's a step one to any upgrade. And okay, we can put it uh, here and just uh, we remove the cap. Here will be the RAM slot. Gently remove it, put it aside. And let's take a closer look. And we can see it has the 4GB on board here. And of course the slot which is free to upgrade. And I will be using a uh, memory stick of OHB and the 8 with 4 here will be total of 
12 GB of PDF4. In order PDF4. to install the memory, just plug it into the slot and carefully align it with the pins here. Put it at this angle and then just press on it. It will make a nice click sound and then uh, put the cap back on and try to align it with the clips that it has on the main, main board. And it will go smoothly and very nice like this. And of course for the SSD, I have chosen this Kingston NVMe drive and I will just plug it in here. But first I need to remove this screw here that it will be the holding screw. Just gently remove it, keep it in your screwdriver, insert the SSD like this and then push it gently and put the screw back in. Be careful to align the screw and uh, make a proper something like this. And uh, yeah, you can see it's very flush and even the memory it's flush. And that's about it with the upgrade. And now I have upgraded to the 12 GB of RAM and of course the NVMe SSD. And this will make a lot faster the system besides the normal hard drive here. And I will use this for storage and this for the operating system and probably games. Once you're all done and everything is in place, just uh, be sure to connect the battery back again and just uh, plug in the connector like this. And that's about it. Everything is uh, just uh, fine. And of course, uh, right now you can put back the cap and install it uh, here. Before you put uh, the screws back in, just um, place the cap here and try to open the laptop to see if everything works fine. And I will do just uh, I will do this in just a minute and. Open the laptop and just start it to make sure it's still running. And you can see it's still running, no issues. So just be very careful and first disconnect the battery and then do the upgrade process. And it's of course uh, going back to Windows that I have here. And that's about it with the installment process. It's very easy and you can do it. You only need a screwdriver or something like this. So yeah, keep in mind the SATA SSD do not work and you need the NVMe storage for this uh, kind of laptop. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, please like, share and subscribe.